our main design goal for Homefront Multiplayer is to create the most intense, exciting, large-scale warfare experience on the consoles. The large-scale warfare means to us is lots of players, 32 players battling it out over Xbox Live or PSN, and a lot of different types of warfare and combat going on. So we've got infantry combat in our game, there's vehicles, there's aircraft, there's airstrikes, and there's even high-tech drones you can use. One of the goals we have with Homefront is to create an evolving battlefield. So we want the match to play out differently every time you play it and to escalate in intensity. So we have two types of progression in Homefront. There's a short-term compulsion loop where you're earning battle points and spending those during the match. And then there's that long-term progression where you're earning XP and you're unlocking new vehicles, weapons, and toys as you go through the game. So one of the things you can do with battle points is to make some strategic choices on the fly. So if you see an enemy helicopter, you can decide, do I want to purchase a missile launcher and try and take it down and earn some more battle points? Or maybe I want to purchase a drone and try and take out some infantry that are capturing an objective. Those are just some examples of things you can do with battle points in the game that allow the player different strategic options. So Homefront Multiplayer takes place in 2025 during this period we call the Occupation Wars. And so what we've done with this uh, near future setting is allow us to kind of extrapolate what kind of weapons would be available in 15 or 20 years. And so that's where you see a lot of the kind of high-tech weaponry like the drones. And the ones we're showing here today, we've got the Air Assault drone, which is kind of an aerial helicopter that fires rockets. You can use that to take out infantry pretty well. We've also got a ground assault drone, which is kind of like a mobile machine gun on, on a tracked um, mount. And you can use that to kind of go behind enemy lines and sneak up on some enemies. And and we're also showing a recon drone, which is a really interesting teamwork tool. You can use that to mark enemies for your team, and any time a player marks, gets marked, you earn battle points, and when your teammate kills the enemy, you get some more battle points. What really excites me about Homefront Multiplayer is the kind of intensity and the scale of the action that can happen. So when you've got 32 players fighting in these really epic battles, you know, you can be, you know, rolling in there with a tank, somebody starts hammering you with a rocket, you turn on your countermeasures so you can, you know, shoot those rockets down, then you get EMP'd, some guy runs up a C4, blows you up, you're like, damn, I gotta take that guy out, so you have enough battle points now to go and purchase a helicopter and decide to, you know, fly back in there and try and get your revenge kill. So Homefront's coming out in first quarter of 2011 for both PS3, Xbox, and PC.